guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a Nerf gun. I should say Nerf gun, because this is the Fortnite Dual Pack. See you when I've got them. Hey guys, I've got the two Nerf Blasters. Let me tell you what's included. What's included is the Nerf Flintknock, the Nerf Fortnite Flintknock, Three black and red darts, the Nerf Fortnite pistol, three blue and teal darts, uh, to prime this one, you just pull the top back like that, then to prime this one, you need, oh gosh, sorry about the camera, you need two hands, one to hold it steady and the other to prime it, then you're going to pull it back with your thumb like that, then let go, this one's pretty cool, this one's a big hammer action, but it could just be me that can't use it one handed, but I have seen uh, other hammer action primes, and this one's pretty big compared to others, like the hammer shot, anyways, and then both of them, you just pull the trigger, they're from the Fortnite Nerf line. Uh, what was I talking about again? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, then the grip can also get crammed up for some people with larger hands, but I have smaller hands, so it's better. <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but it just looks like the letter E to me, like an elephant or something like that. And then, specifically with the flint knock, you don't, like, push it in like that. You have to push it in all the way. Let's get into the firing demo. First up, we've got the flint knock. They hit pretty hard, but not to the point where it hurts a lot. Pretty good aiming. Now on to the pistol. Let me just grab the darts from the other one really quick. By the way, really quick, these darts, what these remind me of is an inverted um, dart zone pro dart. Or like a different dart zone dart. If I'm not lazy when I'm editing. And if I can find both of them. They'll both be on screen. For comparison. And then. Um, now let's get into the firing demo. Of the Fortnite pins, <laughs> pistol. So if I see what I've got all those darts. And uh, so yeah, I've got all the darts. This is a very short video. But something I really like to do with my new Nerf guns to see how much they weigh. Because sometimes mm, my guessing's off. So what I do is I take my Nerf gun and, and I spin it. Oh my gosh, it keeps falling off because it's so hard to do on camera. But, so basically, depending on how many times I spin, depends on how light it is. If it's like a half a spin, it's kind of like heavier than your average sidearm kind of Nerf gun. But if it does like, but if it does like a two spins or one spin or more, then that's a pretty good sidearm. But if it does like five spins, way too light. I could drop that without even noticing. 
just one thing to say really quick. So, this one is way louder than this one. But here, I'm gonna dry fire. Sorry to all you pro nerfers. I, I'm one, but I'm just gonna dry fire for comparison because I'm too lazy to shoot and find the darts. That's the, like, let me do it closer to the speakers so that you can hear it better. That's the pistol, then the flint knock, which is the red one. The flint knock is the red one, got it? This is the flint knock. Like, the flint knock barely makes a sound. But there was a lot of detail put in the flint knock and this pistol. I like how, I have no idea what this is. I think this goes on this when it's practiced. Of course, that doesn't work on a normal nerf gun, but, like, in the game. And, uh... I like the detail put into this one, and this one as well. Like, you've even, like, got that little jam door, shell ejecting door kind of thing. But, there's no shells in there. So, these are both front loaders, no internal magazine. But, you can feel, like, the priming. Like, you can feel the spring and all that being pulled back, ready to shoot the bullet. Like, you can... Feel the resistance on both of them. But this one, this one has like a lot of resistance, so you can't really do it one handed that easily. But for the pistol, the pistol's fine. No tactical rails on each, though. No tactical rails. And, uh, wouldn't recommend, uh, shooting it at somebody like unexpectedly but like it doesn't hurt that much uh one last thing before i probably do the outro and then end the video and start editing it and yes i do run the channel and all that is uh this one last thing is this is, so these two have a special thing with their priming. This one, you don't usually see Nerf guns that you take the entire top to prime. And with this one, you don't see uh, the hammer being that big or whatever you call it. But they are still one-shot blasters. They come with six darts in total. And I bought it at my local Target, and it was... Twenty one ninety nine, not including taxes. And I like it. I I'd say it's worth it. Twenty dollars for two uh for two guns. Usually or two blasters. Usually uh I don't really see two guns or two blasters, sorry. Two blasters for twenty dollars. They're usually a bit more expensive than that, but like still, I like this. Twenty one ninety nine USD. I have no idea what any other currency would be for this. Anyways, I'm gonna do the outro now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like. You don't have to subscribe or like. Actually, you don't need to. It's your choice. And, uh, just one quick thing. Once I get to 10 subscribers, I will be doing, uh, gaming videos, like, on my computer. Obviously, the only reason I recorded on the screen for my first video was because I'm not that technical. I don't know how to screen record on a Switch for more than five seconds. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want, like if you want, and bye. Also, probably link my friends at this end thing.